They not They not shit What's going on ladies and gentlemen today we are watching the most offensive moments in South Park So sit back relax and make sure you have a snack because that is the number one rule around here I am accompanied by two hot pockets One one here go ahead and Yeah <laughs> Bro is this from the game? I think this is from the game. The first thing we need to do is is take out a resentment. Okay, so uh, let, let's have a resentment. Come out, come on out over, come over, resentment. <laughs> come on, resentment. We also have expectations, okay? Because expectations lead to resentment, which of course brings about accusations. Come on out, accusations. <laughs> and then that all of course leads to victimization and Bro. Bro. You've got to learn to overcome. Bro, bro, we have to get there before they do. The police station, we can't take down the police. Are you crazy? Yeah, just let them bro's wilding. We can't do that, guys. Why not? Because at approximately 10 30 a.m. this morning, Classy was arrested by the police. I'll leave mm. <laughs> Bro! <laughs> Bro, just shot a kid. What the? Oh! Food in my mouth and everything. Both sniffing cat ass. Oh, no. Nah. A powerful superhero with the amazing ability to talk to fish and swim. Tackle that, man. Seaman. That sea man. It is <laughs> help all creatures of the sea. And right now. Tackle that, nigga. Fish who wants help getting his mother into heaven. I want to help the little gay fish, but all the other super best friends keep saying they're too busy. Will you help? I'm like, hell no, I got better things to do, motherfucker. You a grown-ass man in a $20 Aquaman suit, bro. There's better things you can be doing with your life, like a job. This isn't right. Mm -hmm. It's time for me to be responsible for my own actions. Mom, Dad, we've been eating candy this whole time. Eric Cartman's been sneaking in junk food. Damn. Catch head. No, he's right. The counselor's been doing a good job. We've just been cheating. Yeah. yeah. I believe I can't lose the weight with exercise and proper diet. I don't want to make excuses no more. Me neither. Yeah. Yeah. If you take us back, we promise we won't cheat. Well, it's all right with me, parents. Oh, what the heck? Maybe when you're all done, you can teach me a thing or two, huh, son? <laughs> yeah, you guys are right. I'm sick of being a fat kid, too. I've been making excuses all my life. But I know deep down that if I took responsibility and really tried hard, if we all try together, we really can lose the weight. Oh no, not you. You're not welcome here anymore. Damn. Yeah. What? Bye bye. No. Uh. That's what happens. Stress eating. <laughs> Chef, how do you make a woman like you more than any other guy? <coughs> Excuse me. Huh? Oops. What does that mean? Find the clitoris. Uh, forget us. Bro. Move along, Junior. Hold it up the line. I gotta tell the kid that what? K K K. You called my daughter R two D two. You know how long I've waited for this day, you son of a bitch. Bro. He's burning bright, little girl. Yo. Oh, that's 
fucked up. You know what my favorite song is? It's a man's obligation to stick his boneration in a woman's separation. This sort of penetration will increase the population of the younger generation. Wait, 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 wait. It's a man's obligation to stick his boneration in a woman's. It's a man's obligation to stick his boneration in a woman's separation to increase the population Bro. of the younger generation. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, you are in church. <laughs> what we need to figure out here is are we doing It's a man of racist things on race in the Roman's meditation. <laughs> could be a lot of things. My little sunshine has a temper sometimes, but he's not all bad. Let's try a little experiment. I want to see maybe what kind of things trigger you, Eric, okay? How do you think you would react if I said some negative things about you? Honestly, I wouldn't really care. What if I were to tell you that I think you're fat? I think you're a fat little boy. I think you're way too fat for your age. Does that make you feel any anger? Huh, fatty? Jelly belly? You got jelly in your belly, you little fat fuck? Yeah. You get a little flash of anger when someone tells you you got tits like a 40-year-old woman? Fat Damn. boy? Huh? You like that shitty titty jelly belly? Oh yeah, he's a big boy. Get that fatty some mud flaps for his ass. Bro, jiggly fatty bud. hold on, let's take a moment for a second. These back here, bro, I used to play these all the time, bro, in the clinic, in the in nurse's office, all the time. If you know, you know. Sometimes at the library. Huh. Well, I just don't see it, Miss Cartman. Your son doesn't seem to be triggered by anger at all. In fact, I'd say he's one of the more even-tempered children I've ever seen. Sorry, doctor, your wife's on the phone. Says it's an emergency. Excuse me. Carol, what? Whoa, calm down, honey. What do you mean? Web chat with what? What fourteen-year-old girl? Carol, I would never. No, I don't have a criminal record. Who? Uh -oh. Who is Mitch Connor? There can't uh -oh. be an official police report. Uh oh. Honey. There's no. no <laughs> sweetie, come on. Put down. Bro. Carol. Carol. Oh damn. I'm not fat. I'm big boned. Damn. I walked along the road to the grocery store. My coon sense started tingling. Something was wrong. Very wrong. I've learned to trust my coon sense. It has always been my guide. And so I knew I must act. A coon must know when to defend itself. <laughs> How did I get away with that shit? I must trust my coon sense. Bro. Damn. Damn. Bro. Kids. Uh, uh. You're a sinner. You're doing unnatural things in the house of God. <laughs> oh, forgive me, Heavenly Father. I've sinned against you. Uh, this guy is so going to burn. Mrs. Donovan is a tetris from hell. And you guys Bro. get out there and put a positive spin on this whole thing. How no, are boy. to put a positive spin on it? It's getting pretty hard to keep defending you. Maybe it's time we put our foot down. Oh. Oh. Hope you brought some condoms. Some concern over the president's competency again today. It was during a Middle East peace conference when the president referred to the people of Saudi Arabia as a bunch of dirty sand Nigers. Though the Congress <laughs> Paul Ryan says he sand niggers. His president 100%. <coughs> Ryan, it's the anniversary of the president being elected. How do you think he's doing? Well, what do you mean? He's great. We're doing great. A lot of people judge him and just see the negative. People don't know how great the president can be behind closed doors. They don't get to see all his good qualities. Bro. Uh-huh. And is that semen on your black eye? <laughs> oh, no, I, I tripped on a doorknob. That's just, that's doorknob cum. Uh. You guys, this is all Kyle's mom's fault. Get up, Cartman. Kyle's mom is the one that started that damn club. And all because he's a big, fat, stupid bitch. Don't say it, Cartman. Oh. Uh, oh. well. 
Damn. Bro. Damn. Damn. You gotta fight him now. You have to. Gotta beat his ass. <laughs> oh, damn. Whole theme song. They not. They not shit. What the? F <laughs> uh oh. There she is. <laughs> yup. What? Mom, are you deaf? Somebody's at the door. Yes, I think it's the nanny, Poopsikins. You can't ever talk to your mom like that, bro. Hello, I'm Nanny oh. Stella. Oh, thank you so much for Oh, boy. Please come in. We nanny McPhee teeth there. At the store, walking on the streets. They creep us out and make us feel sick to our stomachs. I'm talking, of course. About ginger kids. Bro. Oh, sick. Gross. Ginger kids are born with a disease which causes very light skin, red hair, and freckles. Ah, nasty. Yeah. Bro. This disease is called gingivitis, and it occurs because ginger kids have no souls. Bro. I can make new friends on the internet. Bro, people used to really say that back then. <laughs> Yo! What good sledder stand Kyle and Kitty are. Yeah, and with Cartman's enormously fat ass, the boys are sure to win. Token, I swear to God, you call me fat one more time, I'm gonna smack you in the head with this rock. Fat ass that. Oh! Bro. <laughs> uh -oh. And you must be Eric. Mom, I want a Twinkie. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> there are going to be some rule changes around here, Eric. <laughs> Oh god. Damn, I'd rather not. Everybody, there's more pop in the refrigerator. Let's make this the best party <coughs> ever. Hey, Eric, where's Kyle? Who? Kyle, the person leaving. Kyle, why would I invite Kyle? Dude, a going away party is supposed to be for the person who is going away. Kyle? Kyle! Kyle's not here. Carmen didn't invite him. What? You guys, this is our party. That no good backstabbing Jew rat is finally leaving. Bro. Come on. Bro. I believe a Cartman ain't shit. Has just been dealt. A travesty has occurred, and I want justice. Kyle Brofnowski did willingly and knowingly sign a contract, and yet, as to date, he has made no effort, nor does he show any intention of ever sucking my bars. I've given him ample time to fulfill his obligation, and he has thus refused. I stand before you with dry bars, Your Honor. I've provided witnesses, collected testimonials, and still, my bowels remain dry. Bro. I want what I'm entitled to. Okay, we'll try this again. Hi, everyone. I am a young boy looking for fun times with older males. I'd like to... Bro. Hey, yo! Daddy. <laughs> what the f***? I'm eight and a half inches. Damn, dude, this guy's tiny. He must be a dwarf. Sorry, Bro. I'm not interested in being friends with midgets. Midgets piss me off. Bro. Kids who have gingivitis cannot be Yo. Ah, oh, sick. Gross. Yuck. 
Bro. The ginger gene is a curse. And unless we work to rid the earth of that curse, the gingers could envelop our lives in blackness for all time. It is time that we all admit to ourselves that gingers are vile and disgusting. Bro. I will leave you with this. If you think that the ginger problem is not a serious one, think again. Right, then I'm going to have to take it. How do you oh. Do it? Come on. Uh oh. This video game is going right here on the counter until we've done some chores. Now, first thing we're going to do is make your bed. Uh oh. Eric, no, this is not acceptable. Stop trying to bogart my Xbox, you fat bitch. <laughs> 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 Stop trying to bogart my Xbox, you bad bitch. <laughs> 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 Stop trying to bogart my Xbox, you bad bitch. Whatever, dude. Oh my god. Come on, butters, you stupid Jew. Bro. I'm a gum Jew. This is very important. I'm getting down to eye level with Eric so that I can talk to him on his level. Eric, you need to understand why you are being punished, all right? I'm just gonna get down as soon as you move. Well, then, I'll just have to stand right here. Oh! oh. In my mouth! Yeah, it's best to avoid his level. And what you need to understand is that this is not appropriate behavior, young man. Mm -hmm. Eric, don't you realize you could have seriously injured your little friend? I'm sorry, man. Bro. Don't apologize to us, apologize to him. I'm sorry, Turkin. Bro. I hope you learned that throwing rocks at people is bad, Eric. Oh, I sure did, Mr. Mackey. I mean, I feel really bad. What was I thinking? He you know, ain't you know, shit. Try to go on, live day by day. See Bro. Mr. Broflowski, did you agree to orally imbibe Mr. Cartman's scrotum and testicles? I... Is this not your signature on the contract? What the hell? Really? I mean, aren't there more important things going on right now? From what I've been presented and the evidence put forth, the court has no choice but to order you to place Mr. Cartman's pubical sac in your mouth and Bro. draw upon it succulently for no less than 30 seconds. Bro. Yes. Thank you, Your Honor. This isn't a victory for me. This is a victory for the justice system. Bro. And my boss. All right, I think we should end it off on that note. I don't know what kind of ending that was, bro. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video, guys. If you guys did, and if you are new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. You guys can use code MAZE at checkout for 30% off on all your GFIL purchases. And remember this one thing. There's only one of you. I love you. Peace. Go.